How are we doing today? Okay, I hope everybody had a really good Easter yesterday. We took the day off, didn't do one of these. Uh, I know it was hard not being able to get to friends and families and get together and have the, the celebrations you usually have, but it was kind of neat having a nice, small, intimate uh, meal. Um, you know, my bologna sandwich was excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, today is Monday, April 13th, 2020. Um, we have a mere 18 days until May 1st when hopefully, if not everything, some of this will be lifted and we will maybe be able to start our path back to a semi-normal way of life. Uh, today in history, in 1902, the first J.C. Penney department store opened in Kemmerer, Wyoming. So there you go. And in 1960, the first ever navigational satellite was launched into Earth orbit. So all the GPS devices and everything would have, they wouldn't work at all. There would be no such thing had not in 1960 we started on that path. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tear one of these off again. We're getting ever closer, ever closer to that day. Um, please, I keep reminding you, uh, eat well, which most of us did yesterday. My bologna sandwich, if in case I put a little cheese on it, uh, I didn't toast it. I I didn't want to get you know I, I didn't want to go too far. But uh, thanks to everybody who offered to bring me uh, Easter food. Nobody did. Anyway, um, oh yeah, so stay, eat well, um, uh, take your meds, stay hydrated, and as always, we're gonna pick three things from our little job jar for you to think about doing today to kind of break up the monotony, because I know it's getting monotonous there. So here we go, number one. Okay, play a game. Now we're gonna put this on the side here, because in a minute, I'm going to show you a game we can play. Are we excited or what? Okay, second one. Do a puzzle. Puzzles are great. Uh, it could be any kind of puzzle. You know, the other day I, I showed you, I put that one together, and I, it only took me two days when it said right on it, two to four years. So I'm still pretty proud. I'm basking in that glow. And finally, let's go with, what do we got here? It says, feed the wildlife. Uh, squirrels, birds, bunnies, I don't know, whatever you've got running around. <laughs> yeah, homeless people. No, that's wrong. Uh, but feed, feed whatever, you know, put some food out. Yesterday, I was, I was feeding a little squirrel that, uh, that's that been running around uh, near my house. And I figure in a couple months, I have fattened up enough, if you know what I mean. Anyway, okay. Today, we're going to do a little something. This is a, a little game. I know you get bored. Uh, so here's some game, a game you can play. Now, uh, we've been concentrating on uh, comic books a lot, but part of our name is cards. And by the way, I'm Tom from Comics, Cards, and Collectibles, 724 Cleveland Avenue Southwest, on the fringes of beautiful downtown Canton. Yes, we're still closed because of the order, but I have high hopes we'll open soon, and we'll be fine. Uh, anyway, so get some cards. Uh, count out 10 of each type and, and use different. Now, these are all baseball cards. I have some 1984 Donruss, some 1983 Tops, 82 Donruss, and 84 Fleer baseball cards. And what you want to do is you count out 10 cards or whatever you want. I went with 10. And um, a different type for each person that's going to participate. I'm going to move my hydration over to here today. Um, and then you take the cards and you take some sort of box or some people use a hat or whatever. And then you take it and you, you uh, mark off a certain amount. Now, I'm going to leave for a second, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here where I marked it off. And what you do is you try to throw the cards in that box. Yeah, I did it the first time. Won't be able to get there. Two, three, oops, almost, four. That was a flipper. And, okay. And then each person does it. And then 
once you've all taken turns, and you can usually take, you know, everybody take a turn, one card each, and then whoever, you know, you keep score of how many you get in, and then, you know, you play to, I don't know, 20 or 100 or whatever it takes. So there's a little game you can play um, using baseball or non-sport cards or football or basketball or, God help us, hockey. Um, but in any case, so there you are. There's today's, I don't know, thing to do. Um, okay, we're, uh, we're, we're, oh, wait, no, we're not done. It's story time. Okay, I know how you guys live for story time. So it turns out there was this fella who needed to get a, um, he, he needed to, to he had a, a, a big interview he had to go to. And he needed a place to park his car, and he couldn't find one. And he's driving along, and he is getting desperate. So he looks heavenward, and he says, Lord, Lord, please, if, if, if you'll help me find a parking place, well, well, I'll stop cheating on my taxes. I promise. I will. I'll stop cheating on my taxes. And he drives around a little more, still no parking place. I said, okay, Lord. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, okay. Um, if, if, if. If you help me find a parking place, I, I'll not only stop cheating on my taxes, but um, I'll stop fighting. You know, I, I shouldn't be, at my age, I shouldn't still be fighting with people, but boy, I get angry. And he looks around a little more and still nothing. He says, okay, Lord, I, 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 you, you help me out here, Lord, and, and I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop watching Fox News. I will. I promise, Lord. I I I, I know I know I, I shouldn't anyway. So I'll, I'll stop because I know you you don't like them. And he drives a little bit more. And finally, he, he goes, "Okay, Lord, this is the big one. If you help me find a parking place, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll stop cheating on my taxes and I'll stop fighting and I'll, I'll stop watching Fox News. And this is the big one, Lord." I'll quit my drinking. I will stop drinking. And right then a car pulls out and he goes, never mind, Lord, found one. Okay, on that note, I'm sure there's a moral in there somewhere. Um, everybody, take care of yourselves. We're in this together. We can get through this. We're on the downhill slide now. Um, if you need something... If there's something I can do to just cheer you up by telling you another story, write to us. Tell us you want something. Whatever. Uh, I'm here if somebody needs to talk to me or needs somebody to listen to them. Whatever you need. Again, we're in this together. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people you care about. Stay safe. Y'all have a good day.